There was a point where I was trying to decide whether to go into fiction, narrative film, or documentary. And I really was drawn to, to documentary because there were so many strong women directors working in documentary at the time. What I saw of the Hollywood side was not so appealing. I can say that I wasn't treated terribly well. I've quit one of my first jobs because I was working on these low budget exploitation films, you know, a slasher, <laughs> um, um, just horrible films and the way women were portrayed. I thought, you know, this doesn't go along with my feminist ideals and I just can't sell out to do this. And I was fortunate enough to meet Johanna Demetrakis, who was making a film about Judy Chicago's dinner party, the art installation. And I was working on the dinner party. I decided to volunteer. My success is attributed to choosing directors well. Not just the subject matter, but working with directors who I know are strong, compassionate, and talented directors. Because we spend so much time together. Some directors say they spend more time with their editor than they do with their spouse. And that, that is true. You have to have a, a, a strong working relationship, a good collaboration. And I've been very fortunate to work with people that we trust each other. We're, like Mark Harris and I can practically complete each other's sentences we'll look at a cut together and we'll almost always have the same notes about what to fix and what to change. So he can go away and leave me in the editing room for a few days and come back and, and we'll almost always be in agreement on what, how the film is going, what the direction should be. I really need to be alone when I'm cutting. I do my best work when nobody else is in the room because it is such an internal process. And a lot of it does have to do with rhythm and timing and pacing. I think those are all extremely important. And I can only feel those when I'm sort of by myself with the material. You know, this is a generalization, but women have um, a sensibility, um, a commitment to making a difference, changing the world almost, you know, making films about subject subjects that are timely, that um, are political or um, humanitarian. And those are the kind of films that I seem to have worked on. I would highly recommend young women who are passionate about being in the film industry to find a strong female mentor, for one thing. That certainly helped me. Um, and also, I think editors we have a slightly different um, advantage. I think there are more women editors. I know there are more women editors than directors. Um, and I, I think there are more opportunities in editing. I also feel there's more opportunities in documentary than <laughs> the studio system. Um, but you have to be tough and you have to be committed and you have to never take no for an answer. And I think it's harder. I think you have to be better than a guy, and you still, still might be overlooked. So I think, uh, for me, I have, like I say, I've worked with a lot of women producers and directors, and we have a network, and we do support each other. And in L.A., there's a, a, several groups, and, and some are spontaneous and some are more formal. But there is a, uh, a network and a support system. I was consulting editor on Girls in the Band, and that's Judy Chaikin is the director of that. And that's a really strong feminist film. It's a, it's a wonderful kick-ass jazz music film, but it has a very strong feminist message. And it's, that was wonderful fun to work on. Um, then. I, Crazy Wisdom is the film that Johanna Demetrakis directed, and I was co-editor with her on that. That's really, that was the first documentary director that I worked with, and here we are all these years later, and I'm, I have co-edited her film, Crazy Wisdom, that's in the festival.